또 대한민국 감사합니다. 아, 지금까지 또 살아계신 우리 또 98세기 이민지 목사님이 또 시청 강자님 모시지 말까요? 오늘 90대지 우리 박조준 목사님. 10분 정도 말씀을 드리겠습니다. 10편 1 2평1 6절을 같이 우리가 말씀을 드리겠습니다. 10편 1 2평 1절에서 6절까지 같이 자, 띄워주시죠. 같이 한번 읽어볼까요? 시작! 여호와께서 시온에 꿈을 돌리실 때 우리가 꿈을 꾸는 것 같았다. 그때 우리 입에는 웃음이 가득하고 우리 혀에는 찬양이 찼었다. 열방국에서 말하기 여호와께서 저희를 향해 대사를 행하셨다 하였구나. 여호와께서 우리를 향해 대사를 행하셨으니 우리는 기쁘도다. 여호와 우리의 보로를 남방 시대들 같이 돌리소서 눈물을 흘리며 실을 뿌리는 자 기쁨으로 거두리로다. 울며 실을 뿌리는 자 가는 자 정녕 기쁨으로 그 담을 가지고 돌아가. 
저는 70년 전 북한에서 어릴 때 한국 동남대 신앙의 자유를 위해서 이 나무로 피난 내려왔습니다. So 70 years ago, I was uh, in North Korea and I came down to flee from the uh, coming attack from North Korea. 저는 북한의 아름다운 강 대동양 면에 살았습니다. I lived in a very quaint town in the city of Pyongyang. There was a, a great river that was next to our home about a hundred meters away from where I lived. And I swam in there. And I skated on it in the winter time. And in the summer time, I fish and I gather clams in the river. And I cannot forget that memory even now as I am nine years old. And I imagine myself on a boat sailing on the river. And I see my house where I live. But I cannot enter that house. And I see people walking back and forth. We have one hope. There is a song that both North Korea and South Korea can sing as one. Our hope is unification. Our dreams, our hope is unification. Unification be fulfilled. If one heart worth of South Korea had the same heart, that is the hope of both Koreas. That is why we are here today. Not only are North and South Korea divided, all the peoples of that nation are scattered across the four corners of the earth. They are all scattered across the world. It's divided into communism and democracy. It is a heartbreak moment. Even if pastors want to preach, they have the uh, constant fear of the government reaching down upon them. How can it be one? Not by minds. The people of Israel were exiled to Babylon for 70 years. If they were slaves to the people of Babylon, they could not have freedom as people. Their heart and their hope was when will we go back to our homeland, Lord? They did not see anything that uh, hindered them. It was dark. God sent back to Israel people who were enslaved for 70 years. It was a situation that you could not have dreamt of. Every time I read the word of God, I feel God's hearts. We were also enslaved as Korean people for 36 years under Japanese occupation. All of that time, people called us one Korea and Japan, but in reality, Korea was oppressed by Japan. My father was in uh, the freedom movement during that time, and he was sent to jail by the Japanese people. 
and he came out of prison with uh, wounds and with uh, diseases. And when I was in elementary school, my uh, father would sing songs. And the name of those songs were It was similar to when I had graduated from when I was in middle school. It was a uh, very specific Korean song. <laughs> It was a, a hymn that, a song that he used to sing when I was little. And I sing along to what my dad has sing as well. And my father was a man of little words and he did not speak much. And uh, in 1945, uh, August 15th, there was a news that came into our town. And my father grabbed a flag that he had hidden in uh, hidden and brought it out. And as he had waved that flag, the Tegoki, he began to sing the national anthem of Korea. It was a different lyric than what we have now for the Korean anthem. It went like this. It was the same melody as what I sang during that time when I was in middle school. And you don't know how much I went and I cried singing that song. And I was just ashamed to look at my grandfather. I'm singing this national anthem right now, but how hard was it for him to sing it then? And when, whenever he talks, he talks, told me about this national anthem. And I had Honestly, uh, at during that time, I am a person who was able to speak Japanese fluently. But then, after I had a revelation, I was like, I'm not going to speak Japanese ever again, so I kept my mouth shut to that language. So now I do not want to speak the language. When I go to Japan, I speak English. And the liberation of Korea was just like in a dream. We cannot have imagined to have freedom back into the nation of Korea. We cannot even hope for it. We just thought that we go like this and die. But from God, He destroyed Japan. He gave us the liberation of Korea. Just like a dream. And in our lips was happiness. God had done a great work in us. God did that. I think that we can't imagine we can only ask God to do. Everyone, even though how great our armies are, we cannot defeat the forces of North Korea. Uh, there was a decree that President Carter gave back in history. And uh, when he gave the decree, I had opposed it with my whole heart. And uh, the decree was sending 
American troops into Atlanta, Korea, and so I believe that that was not good for us. And there was a, a, a protest that was uh, rising up with me and we went to the main capital building and protest. So President Carter said that we'll give you your nationality back, but sending in Korean troops, uh, American troops, where would that nationality be? So I uh, received a message from the uh, Capitol building two days later. Pastor um, Park, I'd like you to come in to uh, have a meeting with us. And when I went into the building, there was a very special man that came to meet me. <laughs> this man came up to me and said, I know all about you, Mr. Park. Um, in your history, your records say that you don't have a history of pro uh, protesting. Well, why are you protesting such a thing right now? <laughs> I'm not someone who's into politics. I'm not into that world. I'm not into that jargon or that language. And I gave an honest answer. I am a pastor for this nation. And I'm here for the sake of Korea. I'm here with my life on the line to um, spread the word about freedom. So as American troops are in, the, in our nation right now, the North Korean forces don't know what to do. If the American troops pull out of Korea, North Korea, North Korea will surely send the troops down. So where will all the believers go? And the official said to me, um, that's not what it's going to be. We're going to gradually pull out. Another one was, and we, we can see the statistics that the Korean military was very strong at that point. So do not worry. But that word did not come into my head. I did not believe it. And I was stubborn and said, oh, Sir, you are bigger than I am. You have more strength than I do. If I fight against you, I will lose. However, if I were to strike you right now, would you accept it? Sometimes I laugh about what it is when I think about it. How can I do this through such a high ranking official in America? And he said, oh, don't do that. And he probably had a lot of misunderstanding because of that. But I was the stubborn person that I was. I did not put myself in the same shoes as he did. So I wanted to meet with President Carter himself. And there was an instance where I gathered many leaders and went to America. This word, I did not do it by my own power. It was by God's help. 
아직까지 일본이 우리나라에 남아 있습니다. 지금 북한의 김정은이는 날마다 중국이 개발의 표란이 돼 있습니다. North Korea and Kim Jong Un are constantly developing nuclear weapons. 어떻게 이런 악행이 될수 있습니까? How can these two nations be united? 육십만 국군의 힘을 가지고 할수 있습니까? How can six hundred thousand troops unite these two countries? 절대로 절대 안 돼. You cannot do it by man's power. 어디? 하나님이 하셔야 합니다. 100 years ago, we accepted the Christ that came for us 2,000 years ago. And before then, we did not know who Jesus was, Yeshua was. And in fulfillment, fulfillment of the word, the spirit was spread to Jerusalem, Samaria, and all across the world. That's why we were able to receive the gospel of Christ 100 years ago. You are brothers and sisters in the this is a historical event. This is an event that has never happened before. Who else brought this people to Israel? You're from Korea to pray together for unification. God has given His Spirit to Pastor Jane to do a great work. As He prayed, as He spoke, as He prayed, 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 as Lord, only tears fall down our faces as you bow before you. Lord, looking at man's ways, there's no hope. The dark forces become stronger. They are taking over the whole world. Lord, what shall we do? God said not to worry, not to fret when the end times come. He said to call upon his name. So now we call upon your name, these brothers and sisters from Korea and from Israel. Oh, Lord God, Yeah.